Cockle bread was an inferior type of British corn or wheat bread mixed with cockle weed. In the 17th century a practice known as molding. Cockle bread had a sexual connotation. Cockle bread is also mentioned in a 19th century nursery rhyme. Topic: <laughs> Cockle weed bread. The play The Old Wives' Tale by George Peel, first published in 1595, has a reference to cockle bread. The editor of a 20th century edition of the play, Charles Whitworth, points to the cockle as a weed found in corn and wheat fields, and suggests that cockle bread was possibly an inferior bread, made from those grains, with the weed mixed into it. William Carew Hazlitt writing in Faith and Folklore, a dictionary in 1905, gives the same explanation of cockle bread as Whitworth. <laughs> the molding of cockle bread In the 17th century a sexual connotation is attached not to the bread itself but to a dance that involved revealing the buttocks and simulating sexual activity, which was known as molding cockle bread. John Aubrey writes of young wenches indulging in a wanton sport called molding of cockle bread, where they would get upon a tableboard, and as they gather up their knees and their coats with their hands as high as they can, and then they wobble to and fro with the buttocks as if they were kneading of dough with their asses." While doing this, the young women would sing the rhyme. Aubrey compares this, writing, I did imagine nothing to have been in this but mere wantonness of youth, but I find in Buckertus's book Methodus Confitandi, one of the articles of interrogating a young woman is, if she did ever subjugare panum clunibus, and then bake it, and give it to the one she loved to eat. From this he decides, I find it to be a relic of natural magic, an unlawful philtrum, i.e. aphrodisiac or love charm, writing in A Dictionary of Sexual Language and Imagery in Shakespearean and Stuart Literature, Gordon Williams sees Aubrey's wanton sport. In a 1641 mention of molding cocklebread, a sexual sense, in a prayer mentioning the practice from 1683, and considers it transparent. In the 1683-15 reel, Confors of Matrimony which tells how Mrs. Betty has been molding of cockle bread, and her mother discovers it, the consequence is a by blow in her belly. Nursery rhyme In the 19th and 20th centuries, cockle bread became the name of a children's game, played to a nursery rhyme in which the bread is mentioned. Writing in Observations on the Popular Antiquities of Great Britain in 1854, John Brand describes the nursery rhyme as modern, but adds that its connection to the earlier molding of cockle bread is by no means generally understood. Topic. See also Cordax <laughs>